Have you ever received an email that has a PDF attached to it that you do need to be able to edit or add text? Let me just show you if you're on a computer, um, an easy way to be able to do this with the Google Chrome browser. You're going to need to add an extension. So you're going to navigate to the upper right hand corner, click on the three little dots and click on more tools or scroll down, excuse me, to more tools and then go to extensions. Now I'm already there. Now when you're in extensions, you're going to see a list of the extensions. Scroll down to the bottom, click on Get More Extensions, and it's going to put you in the Chrome Web Store. This is where you're going to search for, and it's called X0, XODO, XODO, I don't know, PDF Viewer and Editor. And you would like to add this to your Chrome. Once you do that, now we are ready for the next step. We're going to go back to that email. And I'm not going to download it. I'm not going to put it in Google Drive. I'm just going to tap on the top part of it up here. It's going to open it in a new window. Or actually, it's the same window. But I now have a choice. And normally this says, like, open with Google Docs. We don't want to open it in a Google Doc. It's not going to work. Um, you want to choose your XODO PDF reader. Now, if you don't see that as a choice, click on Connect More Apps and then go ahead and search for it it should be installed on your Google Chrome browser now. So open it up with the XODO. And I just logged in as a guest, never created an account. And it'll just kind of take a little bit to open it up. And then you're going to see now I the page where, oh, now I will warn you there's not a lot of directions on this, but I'll give you the very basics that will help you to be able to do what you need to do. So let's say on building name is where I need to start filling out. I'm actually going to take my mouse and right click, go to uh, free text, select that, and then I just need to make like a text box. I suggest making it a little bit bigger than what you need. I'm going to say Wayland Middle School. And then I just tap outside of it. Now if I take my mouse and I tap back on it, that's a right click. You're actually going to want to tap and do the left click. Now it offers it as a text box that if I want to make bigger or smaller, I can. I also can delete it. Um, I can edit the text, but I'm going to go show you what style is. And this is where, like right now, this would be the pen. Um, there's a fill bucket and there's a text tool. If you want to change the color, like let's say we want to change it to Wayland Green. And then, um, or if you want to change it back to black you will find out that there, oh, you can do it. Once you're done, just tap off of it, finish filling out the rest of the form. When you're done, what's important is you go up here to save. So you're going to go to the arrow. You can save it to Google Drive. You can save it to Dropbox. If you do want to save it to your computer, a little trick you need to do, you click on Bookshelf, and then go back up here, and then click on Computer. And what it does is it has to prepare it as a download. Okay. And then it's going to pull it up in Adobe and it's going to, you're going to look it over, make sure it is what you would like. And then you will go ahead and save it wherever you need to have it and that way you can access it. So now hopefully I've saved you a little bit of time that you can go ahead and add text to a PDF that you received through Gmail.